Joy Jams Joy Jams Tips and tunes to satisfy your soul Hello! My name is Melissa. And my name is Z. Have you ever noticed that there tends to be this sort of maybe unspoken, but not always unspoken, unfortunately, agreement between us spiritual touchy-feely folk that everything is always supposed to be great. Yeah. 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 And if it's not, then there's something wrong with your consciousness. Right. So bad. So bad. So not true. So the reality is, of course, that things happen. Things we think are good and things we think are bad. Just, you know, stuff happens. Stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah. And it is all for the evolution of our consciousness. <sighs> yeah. And the more we evolve and grow, the more we see that what we used to maybe call bad, we actually don't see as bad anymore. In fact, just those judgments of good and bad are kind of arbitrary and ultimately subjective and often wrong. Yeah. So, very important point here. We are not saying that we have to suffer no. in order to evolve. No. Change is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Totally optional. Great. Yeah. So, I love that I one. I love that yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. We did not make that We did not make that up. No. no. And the more we can know, fully know, that the universe is loving us with whatever is happening. The more we can understand that it is us being like, even this is me being loved. The more we can find the good in everything and find the growth that is available to us in something we think of as bad. Yeah. And then life just feels better because right. we're seeing the good stuff. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a major letting go of the victim stance. I know for me, when I was in my 20s, I had this period of time where I had chronic back pain, I was on disability, I lost my job, I lost my best friend, like really, really hard time. And all of those aspects of that situation led to me getting out of that situation, needing to move, and pretty much everything in my life, like everything, I can look back to and see that all the good that I now experience came from all those bad things, like directly, mm. direct line from all that stuff that happened. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing that I think of for myself every time is addiction and recovery. So certainly if you had asked me when I was hitting bottom on July 29th or 30th, because my sobriety date is 31st of July, 30 years ago, I, and if you had said to me, no, this is a really great thing, <laughs> oh no, I would not have agreed. And yet, it was one of, if not the most wonderful thing that has ever happened to me, was hitting bottom and turning my life around from using drugs. Yeah. Best thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a question for you. Can you look at everything in your life, everything, including the hard stuff, and be open to finding the gift in it? <laughs> yeah. And practice making the assumption that everything is from the highest divine loving presence, the universe, whatever you, however you think of it. Mm -hmm. Everything has that original divine creative spark of life behind it and through it. You mean like the Big Bang? For instance. I broke my leg, I lost my job, and then my partner left me. Yeah. I see no point in going on, I want to quit. Get me yeah. here. Spirit brought me here. Spirit never left. See, it's in this moment right now. The spirits always bless me. It's a big bang. A big bang. It's a biggity, biggity bang. It's a big bang. It's a big bang. Spirit's a biggity, biggity bang. Big, big, big bang. Big, big bang. Yeah. You and I, and I in the midst of the ever-changing ever light. Everything. 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 
Jesus. Hey. Have fun with the Big Bang. <laughs> if you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to see more content like this, please support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you. We love you. See you next time.